It's a title that signifies initiative, vision, and accomplishment. It's the title of entrepreneur. It is the power of entrepreneurship. It's the entrepreneurial spirit of this country that is largely responsible for the high standards of living that we have enjoyed and the high standards of living that I think we are responsible to deliver to our children and our grandchildren. Once you know what your advantage is and what your organization's advantage is, do not compromise it. Don't water it down. Don't negotiate with the world over what your advantage is. You are the anomaly. It is a typical error of people right out of school that they go for the job with the most money or they go for the job that seems like it has the highest title if it says VP or director or something like that. That's generally a mistake. Things like how you dress, how you shake hands, how you make eye contact, uh, the reality is uh, we are a visual creature. Uh, first impressions are made within the first few seconds. You probably judge me the first few seconds that I stepped on this podium. Perhaps you didn't like my tie and you made a judgment on me. The reality is that's the way the world works and you have to make sure that first impression is the best possible impression. Believing in, in what you're doing and making sure that you're not just the only one that's believing in it, you want to convince market, uh, venture capitalists who are supporting you that they need to continue funding you, you need to convince your employees that the uh, situation is not as bleak as it appears. You need to uh, convince your clients that you're going to stay in business. So during tough time, it's, it's extremely challenging not just to execute on your business, but to maintain and, and keep the confidence in the various constituencies that are really critical to your success. Some of the questions that came up at the end of that last session, which is how do you get that first customer? Great innovation. Who knows if it's going to take off, right? That's the key. We came, what if we came up with this thing? What we'd want to know is how do we get it to really take off? From the U.S. Mint's perspective, it was a great innovation, but nobody wanted to adopt it. It did not diffuse. My point in showing you these examples is that there are lots of good ideas out there. You guys in this room know telling how many great ideas there are out there. What you got to make sure you understand is how are you going to get that idea to diffuse? And by diffuse, I mean how are you going to get people to buy your product? I want all of you to know that the university, ranging from the activities in the School of Business to the activities hosted by the Clark School of Engineering, has a number of programs and initiatives and events like the one today for people who are interested in entrepreneurship, providing programs that do hand-holding, uh, offering opportunities for funding, offering opportunities for tying you up with the venture capital world so that um, we can become the most important catalyst in this extremely wealthy, in this extremely vibrant technology region.